This week, it's the week of returns. For starters, we're returning to the north. We're also returning to a team that got featured not too long ago. A couple weeks ago, in fact. And in th ironically enough, we're also returning to their home stadium. No, we are not returning to that very matchup. But in this case, we do have a division rival on tap here. As this week on Stratomatic Football, we got the Detroit Lions versus and the Green Bay Packers hooking up in a critical NFC North showdown. And this week's a fun and exciting episode of Stratomatic Football! That thing right there! Yeah! Howdy folks, it's Morgan of the Barbarian here. Welcome to week four of our Stratomatic Football playthrough. Or this week, we find ourselves with an NFC North matchup as the 3-0 Detroit Lions, the team that won the division in our timeline, though not in this playthrough last season, face off against the Green Bay Packers, who make their return two weeks later after we saw them get demolished by the Dallas Cowboys, which as of right now is their only loss of the season. They currently sit at 2-1. They, meanwhile, won the division in our playthrough last season. So, yeah, as you can tell, the Green Bay Packers managed to bounce back from that embarrassing loss in Week 2. Detroit, meanwhile, has won all three of their games quite comfortably, so they're doing well. They're following along what they did in our, um, our timeline. Now the question is, can they keep it going, as this has now become a pretty important NFC North matchup here. If Detroit wins, they will be up by two games in their division. If Green Bay wins, they basically close the gap. So this means a lot more to Green Bay than Detroit, especially with it being in at Lambeau Field. Yes, this is the second time in three weeks we are taking a trip to Lambeau Field this time around, so... Hopefully, if you're Green Bay, you avoid what happened the last time we were here as Dallas just waxed them 43-17. to You can check out that video further back in the timeline. It is under week two. Uh, speaking of going back in the timeline, I think we need to go address week three's results first. So, while I set up, I will show you those results, show you how both these teams recovered, how... Green Bay managed to bounce back from their Week 2 shenanigans. And we will get this party started, so roll that beautiful footage. Or maybe not, depending on what team you um, root for. <laughs> We get our setup going here. Lions will be in red. Packers will be appropriately in green. Hey, that works out. Just like last time, except it really didn't. So, all right, Green Bay. Like I said, don't do what you did last time. We don't need another repeat. So, anyways, Detroit is the visitor. So, they'll call this one odds. Nope. And Green Bay says take the ball. All right. Detroit will start get the opening kickoff, and we are underway here. Yeah, Detroit's in uh, green. There we go. That's what we want. All right. Green Bay kicks it off. Seven. It's going to the five and the number two back. Let's see what we got for a return. Oh, this is just wonderful. And we're starting off with what appears to be a 26-yard gain, unless... Nope. So Detroit advances all the way to the 31 to start us off here. Okay, good, decent field position. So here's the starting lineup for the Detroit Lions. If it looks a little bit different, these are the 2022 card sets. So some key pieces that from the 
current era team are missing, but nevertheless, this team looks like it's still pretty formidable. Jared Goff is the quarterback. This was the year he came in to the Lions, I believe. DJ Chark is the split end. Khalif Raymond will end up starting at the um, slot receiver, which will also be used for the fullback and stuff. Jamal Williams is the starting running back. James Mitchell is the starting tight end. And Amon St. Brown is the starting flanker. All right, so we are off here. And I'm going to start with a flat pass on first and 10. All right, from the 31. Oh, don't be doing that now. And we start off with a nine-yard pass to Amon St. Brown right off the jump. Okay, cool. All right, there we go. I just need to type this in. All right, second and one here. Green Bay is going to keep sitting on the run. Ten on a line buck here. And, well, Williams only gets a yard, but as fate would have it, that's all he needed for the, the move to change. So that works. First down. First down for Jamal Williams, and we're back to first and ten. Ten on an off tackle. We have a pending penalty. It's no gain if this holds up. And it won't because there's a holding penalty, what appears to be that. It's number four. Oh, yeah, holding penalty. And we're right back to where we started. Out, Chiefs. First and 20. Oh, dear. Not exactly how you planned it out there. Um, this time it's eight yards for Amonra St. Brown as he goes out of bounds. So catches the first of two passes there. All right, second and 11, 12 here, excuse me. Seven on a short, and down goes Goff. Ouch. Uh-oh, that's not good. Hold on, let me see who gets the sack first. Preston Smith is going to sack um, Goff for a six-yard loss, but guess what else he's going to do? 33. It's a fumble! If I roll an X on a sack, it's a strip sack. And Green Bay recovers! Oh, no! Jared Goff and his usual shenanigans. Oh, no. That wasn't supposed to happen. No return. Dang it. I thought we to they told Jared Goff not to do that. Okay, who makes the recovery? Smith forced a fumble, obviously. The high linebacker, which sure enough is Preston Smith. So not only did he... um get the strip sack, but he also pit, got plopped on the ball and got it for Green Bay. Ouch! That hurt. A very nasty turnover for Detroit on their first drive. Oh, that sucks. All right, so Green Bay now has absolutely brilliant field position to start us off here. They were at Detroit 33. They're definitely in field goal range. Meanwhile, as for their starting lineup, it's the same as kind of the last time we were here. Aaron Rodgers is the quarterback. Christian Watson is at split. Romeo Dobbs will be the third wide receiver. Aaron Jones is the running back. Robert Tanyan in at tight end. And Alan Lazard at split. All right, first and 10. And they're going to catch Detroit off guard and go for it right off the jump. Let's see what we got. Six on a long... And it's going to the receiver. It's going to Lazard. 26 yards. He's already down to the seven. Green Bay definitely means business today. So Alan Lazard with a 26-yard gain right off the jump. And he gets down to the um, Detroit seven. We're going to have ourselves first and goal to go here from the seven, just like that. All right. 
Earth and gold to go here from the seven. Uh, let's see. Three yards if it holds. Number one. Oh, God. All right. There's going to be a lot happening for against Green Bay here. So for starters, there's a clipping penalty. 15 yards. But even worse, there's an injury roll. I see all those twos. So now on top of that, Green Bay's about to lose somebody. And it's their left guard. Okay, so nobody on this card list, thankfully. Uh, player is going to go down for a gain. Ouch. So already Green Bay suffers an injury to one of their players. It's just for just curious. Elkin Jenkins is going down. All right. So he will be out for this game and the next, but thankfully nobody on this card set. Meanwhile, it's now first and goal to go from the 21 after that bad penalty. Wait, 22, excuse me. Oh, God, even worse. All right. Good luck, Green Bay, getting this. <laughs> to the receiver, it's going to Christian Watson and incomplete. Rodgers tried to look for Watson on that one, and it didn't work out for him. Just a long ways to go. Okay, second down here. 11 on a short. Long gain! Oh, it's a touchdown unless the play never happened. <sighs> this one, unfortunately, is going to get called back. And there was a reason why that long touchdown pass happened. Offensive pass interference. 10 yards. Touchdown gets wiped out. And it's second end. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Can we at least get in the field goal range? This is just horrible. Six on an off tackle here. Jones gets five. He gets pushed out. So that kind of helps. But, yeah, it's going to be third and forever in a day. I... Eight on a short. It's a 12-yard gain, so at least Detroit the Green Bay will likely get points. So I guess the whole point of that was to get closer. Rodgers hooks up with Watson for 12 yards, meanwhile. So you know what? That, that was the best we could do under such short notice. The two penalties really destroyed them there. Anyways, here's the field goal from uh, Mason Crosby. It's only a 32-yarder. And the kick is up, and that might not be good. 13 for 20, true. It's no good! Crosby hooks it! Oh! So not only do they just get a touchdown wiped to the two horrific penalties, but Mason Crosby misses the field goal on top of that, and Green Bay does not do anything with that turnover. Wow, the Lions catch a huge break. It should be 7-0 Packers. And yet, as you can see by the score, clearly that did not happen. Just, just poor execution from the Packers. Poor discipline. Clipping penalty to start us off, and then an offensive pass interference, which wipes out the what would have been a long touchdown pass. You just hate to see that, so that that's just that's just shameful. All right, Lions will take over at the 15, and with that, I am scooting ahead towards the next highlight. So, well, whatever beautiful or not so beautiful footage that comes out of this, hopefully more beautiful because that was just oh my god. Hey, uh, third down here, six on a long. Oh, no. Uh, two through seven, 11 or 12. It's a 12, and it's picked off. Oh, no. Not again, Jared Goff. Why? Just why? Here's the return. Ooh, that's going to be good, but there's a penalty attached to it. No, it's not. 
Cornerback gets the ball, travels 22 yards. And it's a fumble on top of it. What the hell is going on? Actually, I don't need this one. Yep. Well, yes, I do. No, the Lions don't get it back. There is a penalty, though. Let's see. No penalty roll, so the interception counts. Oh, no. That just was uh, horrible. So let me explain what happened, I guess, here. Because this was just a mess and a half. Goff dropped back the pass. He was looking for um, DJ Chark deep, and he completed the pass. But not the DJ Chark. Instead, he completed it to... Jair Alexander. Uh, except that one problem. He obviously does not play for the... Um, he does not play for the uh, Detroit Lions. However, on the return, someone actually tackled Alexander and punched out the football. Thankfully, nobody on the... Um, thankfully, the Packers got it back. Excuse me. Yeah, the Packers got it back. So no harm, no foul there. Oh, how do I want to do this? You know what? I'm just going to count it as offensive force to fumble here. All right. It's kind of awkward, but you know what? It is what it is. But long story short, Goff throws yet another horrifying turnover. He's already got two this game, and we've just barely gotten started. So, yeah, that didn't work out the way it should have been. So, once again, Detroit Green Bay finds itself with a short field at Detroit's 43. Let's hope this time they're a lot more disciplined and don't do anything stupid, all right? We've got eight and a half in this period, but ouch. Jared Goff is going to have one of those games. Okay. Second down and ten. Ten on a flat. And Aaron Jones takes the short dump off and goes all the way for a touchdown. It's a 20. It would have gone for 29, but he just needed 27 to reach the end zone, and he does. And Green Bay successfully cashes in on the uh, turnover there. There we go. That's what we like to see here. Mason Crosby's extra point is good. I was just about to yell, don't roll an 11. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, folks. Green Bay finally takes advantage of a Detroit miscue. Last time, they committed one too many miscues of their own. This time, they managed to not do that. And it's Aaron Jones on a 27-yard pass completion to Aaron Rodgers where he just, Jones just works his merit magic. From one Aaron to another, it's 7-0. Detroit... Stop making mistakes. I mean, you've already committed two turnovers, and this one actually made it through. They've really got to stop this, or else this could get start getting ugly. We have six minutes left in the first, as of right now, by the way. Screw it. Uh, Detroit is going to guard against this pass, just in case, and sure enough, they were correct. Five on a long ball. Doesn't work. Long gain. Oh, baby. How about 45 yards to Alan Lazard? My goodness. He is tearing them up. And Green Bay has it right at the 10. Jeez. Alan Lazard just caught a 45-yard uh, bomb from Aaron Rodgers. Unbelievable. They are picking apart Detroit secondary, and it's first and goal to go from the 10. This is not good for Detroit at all. Eight on a short. And it's a 12-yard game, but guess what? Touchdown! Aaron Rodgers finds Christian Watson, who does the rest, and gets the 10-yard uh, completion to pay dirt. Extra point 
is good. And Green Bay has effectively doubled their lead as they've apparently now figured out they can throw on the Lions. Rodgers already has 166 yards passing, and we're not even out of the first quarter. We still got 30 seconds remaining. But Green Bay already has a 14-0 lead, and I think they figured it out. Oh, boy, this is not good if you're Detroit. You better do something to keep pace or at the very least tighten that secondary up a little bit. Otherwise, this could get really nasty. Ugh. All right, we're back, and we find ourselves with a third and two here. <clears throat> Aaron Jones doing some hard running here. And now it's third and two. Can Green Bay convert this? Four on a flat. Uh-oh, two or a 12? No, incomplete. Rodgers was looking for Christian Watson and found nothing. Fourth down. What? You know what? I got nothing to lose. Let's go for it. Let us go for it. Fourth and two. Why the heck not? Two on a flat. All right. So two through seven, 11 or 12. It's a first down. Eight through 10. Detroit gets the ball. No! Caught by Dobbs, and he gets the first down. Oh, almost. Almost. But Dobbs makes his first reception of the day, and it's enough for the first down. All right, first and 10 from the 15. They're going to keep running that football. Oh, an injury roll's coming up, and once again, Detroit gets hit. Unless this is an offside false start or something. Nope, instead it's a two-yard gain. That's going to yield an injury timeout. Ugh, Detroit with its third injury of the game. Good grief. They've already lost Hutchinson. Now who are they losing for a while? The fifth guy on their team. Their backup left end is now down for the game. Oh, jeez. All right, so now they lost Hutchinson earlier. Now they lose their other left end for the game. Um, I have to go into the substitutes now. We'll say Josh Pascal, unfortunately, is gone. Their backup left end. Ugh, that, you hate to see that, so... All right. Meanwhile, it's second and eight. Five and a flat. Jones is getting seven because they guessed it correctly. And that brings them down to the six. And we have a third and one coming up here. All right. I think we're going to have, we're going to pound it up the middle here. Four, third and one. To help with this, Dobbs is out. Where's um, Lewis? Why are you over here? Get, get over to the tight end spot, buddy. Oh, Tanya is now the blocking back. All right. Third and one. Seven, and Jones gets stuffed. No gain. And we have ourselves a fourth and one. Well, you know what? I went for it on 4th and 2. Yeah, we might as well do it on 4th again. Now it's 4th and 1, but this time I got a little bit of a decision here. For both teams, honestly. Um, I'm going to run it up the middle if you're Green Bay. And Detroit, meanwhile, thinks they're going to pass it. Oops, they missed. All right, 4th and 1. Can we get this? Yes! Two yards. First down for Aaron Jones. He needed one. He got two. Excellent. So this will set up a first and goal to go from the four. Okay. Nine on a line buck. And it's a touchdown for Aaron Jones again. It's second of the day, and this time he runs it in from four yards out. An extra point here is good. So 
So there we go. Green Bay's uh, fourth down gambles ended up paying off big time with not one but two fourth down conversions, and they get rewarded with an Aaron Jones run. And apology, and apparently our scoreboard operator was half asleep because he didn't bother changing the quarter. Whoopsies, sorry about that. Dang it, I'm going to have to have a talk with him about this. There should There's 8.15 in the second quarter, not the first. I'm going to have to have a nice little uh, chat with him about uh, sleeping on the job. Er, anyways, uh, it's 21 nothing Green Bay. This time they get it on a long drive, not a turnover. And this is not good for Detroit. It, 21 nothing. That's not good. They don't have their best pass rusher. Now they lost their best offensive lineman. It's just, ugh, this is not looking very good here. They need to do something, or this could turn into a blowout, much like we saw in week two. Ouch. So Swift only gets two. All right, two-minute warning. We find ourselves with a second and 18. Yes, there was a um, holding penalty. That kind of sucked for Detroit. Anyway, second and 18. 12 and a flat. It's a six-yard gain to um, St. Brown. Um, oh, he got pushed out, so no need for a timeout. I was about to use one, and then I'm looking at him like, oh, okay, all right. That brings up a much more manageable third and 12, if you could call it that. I mean, you know, you, we could try. All right, third and 12. Seven on a short. Uh, he got 11 of 12, DJ Turk did, unless... No, he did. Okay. So we got 11 of 12, but he's still a yard short. Um, Time-wise, Detroit is going to let the clock run, but it ain't going any further because Green Bay uses their first timeout with 145 remaining. So it's now fourth and one. I am going for it. In the spirit of Dan Campbell, we are going for it. All right. We got to do it. Fourth and one. Um, yeah, they're going to go. They're thinking pass, and they're doing the same thing, Detroit. Six on a short. Uh, doesn't matter. Five-yard gain, first down. Okay. And Detroit is actually going to take a timeout. Start us off. Five-yard gain, and that is their first. They're, they kind of want to settle everything down a little bit. So St. Brown gets his five yards. Uh-oh, hang on. There we go. Okay. First and ten from the 15. Five on a short. Uh-uh, incomplete. I was looking for St. Brown. Goff was. All right. Second down. Green Bay will let him have this one. <laughs> 11 on off tackle. Four yard gain for Swift. Um, you know what? Green Bay takes their second timeout. They clearly want the ball back. But yeah, there you go. All right, third down here. I'm going to give Mitchell a shot. All right, third and six. Five on a flat. And Mitchell's going to get eight yards in the first, so he's down to the three. Um, how about a timeout for Detroit? That's their, that's their first. That's their second, excuse me. All right, so Mitchell makes his first catch of the game. First and goal to go right from the three. Uh, Mitchell's, that means I'm, we're going to see Brock Wright right about now. Okay. How about first and uh, goal to go right from the three? Ten on a flat. Four yards, maybe? Nope, offsetting penalties. That play never happened. Ouch. 
Would have been a touchdown pass to James Mitchell. It gets wiped by dueling penalties. Hate to see it. All right. First and goal to go still. That does help with time, by the way. Um, oh, yikes. Okay, two or a three. No. What about the penalty? No. Incomplete. The St. Brown. I need to fix it on this end. All right. Second down here. Four on a flat. No for that one either. He was looking for Mitchell again. All right. Third down here. This is not looking good. You now what? Surprise. Six on a line book guessed incorrectly. And there you go. Touchdown. When in doubt, just run the ball, apparently. There you go. DeAndre Swift gets it, runs it in from three yards out. Michael Badgley's extra point is good. And there you go, Detroit. You are finally on the board after all of that. And we kind of have a bug game again. I don't know. But anyways, Andre Swift with a three-yard TD run with 45 seconds remaining. 21-7. Detroit finally cuts the deficit to an extent here. And the only question now is did they leave Aaron Rodgers too much time to do something here? Green Bay does only have a single timeout, but they do get the ball back to start the second quarter. They're probably going to go do something, depending on what happens here. Okay, let's see what we got. From the nine and the number one back, but we also have a penalty to go on top of it. That is the wrong one. Oopsies. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's going to be a good return, unless this penalty means something. Yeah, how about 33 yards? Unless this penalty means something. Oh, except, well, all right. I'll enforce that on the next play. So, Kenyon Mitchell does go for five yards. And the Green Bay will have it at the 42. With about 37 seconds remaining here and a single time out. Okay, of course, they're going to try something now. That They got an excellent return. Jones is back. Lazard's in. All right, and it is first and 10. And make it first and 15, because on the last play, I rolled for an offsides. If I roll it on a kickoff, it counts as a penalty on the next play. So, false start on Green Bay. Oopsies. First and 15. Try again. <laughs> I have to do it, all right? First and 15. Four on a short. Uh-oh. Two through four. There it is! Intercepted! Picked off! Oh, yikes! Rogers throws an interception. That doesn't supposed to happen. Return for a gain of... Ooh, close. 15 yards. So they're back right where the interception happened. Oh, dear. That's... That is going to definitely a huge break and a potential boon for um, Detroit there. So Rodgers throws an interception as he was looking for Watson, right? Yeah, he was looking for Christian Watson and instead completed the pass to not him, but whoever Detroit's right cornerback is, Jeff Okuda. Oops. And uh, Green Bay finally makes its first mistake of the game on a turnover of all things. Ouch. All right, Detroit, you have 30 seconds and a timeout to take advantage of this and make this half a lot more respectable. And you know for sure they're going to try something here, so. All right, first and 10 here. Let me just get Goff and company quarterback out. There you go. And we're going to try it right off the bat. All right. First and gold 10 from the uh, Green Bay 37. All right. Detroit does have a timeout. 10 on a long. 
Oh, there we go. 28 yards, and he goes out of bounds at the nine. It's the DJ Chark, sure enough. There we go. 116. So Chark managed to. Detroit rips one deep, and Goff finds DJ Chark for a, a um, lot of yards. How about, you know, 28? And it's first a goal to go from the nine with 22 seconds remaining. Nine on a flat to the receiver. It's Chark again. He gets five, but nothing further. And Detroit's taking their final timeout. Uh, kind of a questionable play call there, but yeah, you know what? What well, might as well. All right, Detroit essentially has two attempts to pull this off, so. Second and four, Brock Wright's re-entering the game as Mitchell moves over. Okay, second and four. Essentially, Detroit has two attempts at this, and then they've got to kick the field goal. All right, let's see what they if they can get the touchdown. They did it once before to the receiver to Brock Wright. And Wright gets it! Touchdown! With four seconds remaining, and Detroit does, in fact, cash in on the turnover as Brock Wright catches a four-yard TD pass. He would have gotten five, but that works too. Extra point from Detroit. Badgley hits it. It's good. And this is going to, and just like that, the Lions have finally somehow gotten back in this game after it was 21 0. Now they've cut the deficit to a single touchdown as we're about to enter the halftime. Green Bay is probably just going to take a knee here, is my guess. But let's see what happens on the kickoff because. Their kick returner does have the ability to hit touchdowns. We have actually seen this before. In the game last season against Minnesota, Keyshawn Mixon did get a touchdown return on a kickoff. So don't think they can't do it. Anyways. Eh, you know what? I'll take my chances. Uh, nine yards in the back of the end zone. It's snake eyes in case we're wondering, so here we go. No. Okay, so it's not. It, it, this is probably just going to end the half right then and there. So, yeah, Mixon's only going to get 27. He tried to bring it out, gets to the 18. Rodgers takes a knee, and that's where we stand as of the half. Okay. That, that sounds about right. Yeah, the, the Green Bay gets the ball back in the second half anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Oh, I... All right, and that's where we stand at half number one. It is 21-14 Detroit as they suddenly came alive at the end of that half. My goodness. And here I was thinking this was going to end in a blowout, and then all of a sudden Detroit decides to do that. Hey. Stats from half number one. Oh, hello, scoreboard operator. You might want to, you know, do your job correctly. Jared Goff, kind of a miserable first half. 14-26, 125. He had that pick that turned into one of the Green Bay's touchdowns. I know the other turnover didn't really do anything. Um, but, yeah, not a very good game for Jared Goff, but it looks like they found the rhythm. Uh, running game's doing okay. DeAndre Swift has a running touchdown. Brock Wright caught the other one. Monra St. Brown and DJ Chark are doing okay, but eh, they're being held in check at what St. Brown is. Chark kind of, but they just have not been able to hook up. Uh, Detroit has had a strip sack from McNeil, their defensive tackle. Jeff Okuda picked off Aaron Rodgers. The offense actually did get a fumble on a interception return but nothing happened out of it so that's been where we stood on those on the other side Aaron Rodgers has cooled off since that hot start in the first quarter Detroit has really clamped down 14 21 199 yards two touchdowns but they've now intercepted him too Aaron Jones is doing well 1455 in a TD Alan Lazard has four for 93 Christian Watson and Aaron Jones have the TD catches, meaning Jones has two TD catches so far. 
Wow, 107 yard all purpose yards. Not bad. We mentioned uh, Zadaria Smith has the, the strip sack, which uh, led to unfortunately nothing. That kind of sucked, but so be it. Jair Alexander picked off Goff. That did lead to a touchdown. Um, Detroit might want to look away at this injury list. They're without their best pass rusher and their best offensive lineman. And the Green Bay did lose somebody too. So, yeah, that was kind of an interesting half there. Green Bay seemed to have had them. And then all of a sudden, a turnover and a good drive later. And Detroit is back into this one as we now enter the second half. This is clearly still anyone's game here. It's 21-14. Green Bay leads, but Detroit is trying their best to make something happen here. So we are going to enter the third quarter. Green Bay will get the ball to start us off, and we'll see what happens. Lemon on a short. Uh-oh. Two through six or a 12. No, it's incomplete. Whoever the corner was guarding Watson drops the interception. Had it and lost it. That could have been big. All right, it's now third down. Third down. All right, let's just screen it to Aaron Jones and hope for the best. Uh, he ain't getting anything incomplete. All right, Green Bay is going to have to punt it. Oh, terrible punt. It's only going to go 33 yards. That's not good. A 12 would have been horrific. This is going to go get returned for a gain of 9 to the number 1. A fair catch. Okay. That makes sense. Detroit will have it from the 43 of Green Bay. An outstanding field position. That penalty really got him. And yeah. Detroit is now in what seems to be excellent field position here. Um, we'll keep Swift in just to make them think they're going to throw it a little bit more. Actually, Jamal Williams it is. We're going to bring it in our best. Uh... Pass catcher here. All right, first and 10. We're going to start us off. All right, here we go. First and 10 from the 43 of Green Bay. Excellent field position, as I mentioned. Goff needs to come into the game. That will still count. Hey, two for five. No, no gain. Jamal Williams tried that one. All right, second down. You know what? No, Chark. 11, uh-oh, 2 or a 3? No, that's none of the above, incomplete. Goff was looking for Chark. All right, third down. 2 on a short. 12 unless a 12 is rolled. No, it's a 12-yard gain, first down for Monroe St. Brown. So they made the third down conversion here. All right, first and 10, and they're going to miss this. Green Bay is. Three on a long. Uh-oh. As it works. Touchdown. Amonra St. Brown would have gotten 32 they needed a 31 to enter the end zone, and there it is. Detroit is now an extra point away from tying the game on a long TD pass to Amonra St. Brown. There it is. There's your tie ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Play action pass from the Lions, and he just found Amonra St. Brown, and Goff hits him, and he just does all the rest. 31 big yards. And ladies and gentlemen, after being down three touchdowns, the Lions are now tied the game up by scoring three of their own. Huh. 
All righty then. Well, that was um, kind of unfortunate for Green Bay, but you know what? That was uh, off. They're off to a great start in this half. Detroit managed to stop Green Bay, got some good field position, and boom, the long TD pass to St. Brown ties it. Unbelievable. Again, Green Bay spotted them three TDs, and somehow they caught back up. Oh, I got to love these divisional games. They're just wild. All right. Let's see. We're going to the five. And we are... Uh-oh, this is a problem. I think this is going to be a fumble, is it? Yes, it is. It's a fumble! Detroit has it! Oh, Kenya Mixon just fumbled the that pass a return away. Are you kidding me? Detroit special teams forces a fumble. Kenya Mixon returns it. Wait, I never did roll this. Nope, never mind. Okay, no return. But yeah, Mix, he drops the ball, has the ball knocked out of him, and Detroit gets it at the 22. So as if things couldn't get any worse for Green Bay, now all of a sudden Detroit gets the ball right back to where they started. Oh, God. What is happening right now? Detroit with a chance to take the lead on first and 10. We'll keep this going. Uh, line buck and Jamal Williams is starting off with a short gain, just 11, but he's halfway there. That should be at the 20. All right. All right. He'll go out of bounds there. And yeah, 11 yards for Jamal Williams has now Detroit is running the football here. First and 10 from the 11. They're in the red zone here. Uh, it's seven yards if this holds. Uh, Goff, why is Goff over here? No, you should be over there, buddy. All right, how much did they say it was for? I forgot. I, okay, it was seven, that's right. All right, seven yards. Penalty does nothing. So Williams gets seven on that one. All right, and then through Brock right again. Well, that's a deep catch. Second down here. Second and three. Nine on a flat, guessed wrong. Mitchell... We'll not catch anything incomplete. Goff was looking for him. All right, third and three. They're going to miss this run. Seven on a line buck. And it's five yards from... Um, yeah, it's five yards, but instead Williams gets four because he scores a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Detroit suddenly has the lead by seven. You've got to be kidding me. The Packers were up 21 nothing as I 20 as, yeah, 21 nothing. I can't talk. As I had just mentioned in my previous highlight, not anymore. They're now down by a touchdown after the special teams blunder. Oh, Green Bay, you had this going, and all of a sudden, they choked it away. Unbelievable. Detroit just hanging in this game, and they are back, ladies and gentlemen. They're in the lead. The Lambeau Field crowd is stunned. Green Bay, you need to get your act together here. Now you're the ones facing the um, shenanigans here. Thankfully, there's still 9.45 left in this game, but my goodness, the Packers are letting us get away from them. they got to regroup and get their heads back in, out of their you-know-whats or else this could turn into another embarrassing loss. 11 on a short that got missed. And never mind! Long gain! Touchdown! Yeah, it is a Touchdown! Just the minimum is 35, and would you know it? We're right at the 35, so it's a touchdown to Alan Lazard. That would have been a lot of yards. I, I, I'm not sure what it is, but who cares? Doesn't matter. Oh, there you go, Green Bay. There's the um, passing game I was waiting for. Alan Lazard catches a 35-yard bomb. Does Green Bay tie this game? Yes! That was pretty close. 
There you go. We have our tie ball game once again as Green Bay remembers that Detroit secondary stinks. And Rodgers finds Alan Lazard on a deep pattern for 35 yards. And the game is tied yet again with 745. We're halfway through to third. That was close. I, I, I have a funny feeling this is going to end. Continue, these fireworks are going to continue. So looks like we picked a hell of a game here. Again, all tied at 28. We're halfway through to third. So we got still got a long ways to go. This is now anyone's game. But uh, good to know Green Bay has responded as Rodgers throws his third TD pass. There you go. By the way, Lazard is now over 100 yards. It's kind of a side note. All right. Good all around. Except for Detroit secondary. Gate shark. Clearly, I need to bring that down. All right. My mic is on and first and 10. Uh, silly me. Do, do, do. Uh, this is probably going to be good. Not quite. It's eight yards if this holds. Uh, that play never even existed. False start. I mean, you know. All right. First and 15. Nine, and instead we settle for not even a yard. And that's how the first quarter is going to end. <laughs> All right, whatever. There we go. Now we're changing the quarter. All right. Second and 15 here. All right, we'll try a pass to him. Six on a flat. That's probably... Oh, short gain! This might be a touchdown! Well, only if a uh, Snake Eyes is rolled. Ooh, we were close. We got one half of it, but instead Williams will have to handle, settle for a 17-yard uh, completion. Still counts. So Goff hits Jamal Williams on the swing pass, and he takes it 17 yards. And we've got a first and goal to go from the three. There we go. Of course, this means Brock Wright time. Uh, first and goal to go right from the three. Detroit with a chance to take the lead early in the fourth. Uh, Williams moves a yard closer, but nothing further. So he's two yards away. Okay. Second down. Let's see. Six this time. Oh, this could be it. Yep. Touchdown! Jamal Williams from two yards out finds the end zone. His second time he's done so today. Extra point is good for Michael Badgley. That's his fifth. And there you go, folks. The Lions have the lead. 35-28. An impressive drive capped off by a two-yard run from Jamal Williams. Who now has second two, his second TD of the game? I mean, the man had 18 yards in this ver TDs in this version, so makes sense, right? <laughs> so Detroit is now up 35-28. We still got 14 minutes to go, a long ways away, and Green Bay has plenty of time to come back and match that touchdown. So we'll see what happens. Second and ten, they'll miss this. Yep. Five on an end run. Uh-oh. This could be a problem. Yeah, how about two through six, 11, or 12? It's a fumble! And Detroit has it! Oh, no. That hurt. Uh, they have it at the 29 currently. So Jones loses three and loses the football. Okay, D, I'm allowed. It has to be ruled for a return, so evens. Nope, but we'll still take that. So Aaron Jones fumbles the football, and Detroit will get it to 29. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. That was not supposed to happen. Who forced the fumble? Six and one recovered, so it was forced by... Well, Hutchinson's not in the game, so I'm going to say Jonathan Kaminsky and Michael Brockers, who's now in the game as the backup left end here. So Kaminsky forces the fumble on that one as he whacks Jones for that one. 
And, Bro and Brockers, who I mentioned, is in the game. He's supposed to be the third string left end, but that's been how the story of how Detroit's injury night has gone. Ends up picking it up. Would you look at that? And another key turnover for Detroit means they have the ball now. There's 12-15 granted, but Detroit, if they can score, can push this up to two scores, that is, so... This is looking really good for them, but let's see if they can do anything with it or if this they're going to flounder this. Again, there's 12-15 remaining, so let's see what we got. First and 10 here after the fumble. Ball's at the 29, and we're giving up two. All right. Second and eight. Um, short game for Jamal Williams. Yeah, I, I almost read the wrong one. He goes out of bounds, but he still gets 16. All right, that, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. We'll take it. Like 16-yard gains. Okay, first and 10. Do it again. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to bring in De DeAndre Swift. I have the threat of a receiving back in there. Um... No gain for him. Second down. Green Bay is going to think to miss this. And instead, DeAndre Strift's going to run for seven as he gets pushed out of the 46. We have a third and three incoming here. Third and three. No surprise he's getting this ball. Eight on a flat. He will net nothing. Ugh, that stinks. Goff throws an incompletion to DeAndre Swift. Fourth and three. You know what? In typical damn Campbell fashion, I am going for it. Why the heck not? Fourth and three. We're doing this. We're doing this. Three on a flat. Not only is that a first down, but Amonra St. Brown adds 21. So, oh, he got that all right. He got that for sure. He took the ball, ran, and got pushed out at the – and goes out at the 25. So, yeah, they needed three. They got 21. And that, that's how you do it. Amonra St. Brown is now up over 100 yards. That's on his 10th catch. Excellent. All right, first and 10 here. We'll just keep running it with Mr. Swift here, and he'll start us off with a four-yard gain as he goes out of bounds. We have second down from the 21. Almost there. Uh, this run is going for two. And we have a third and four incoming. Let's see. Third and four. Sure, why not? Give it to our tight end here. Third and four. Ten on a flat. And sure enough, there's your four yards. Mitchell got exactly four. Look at that. Look at that. I love it when a plan comes together. First down Detroit. Out goes uh, Swift. In comes Williams. And we've got ourselves a first and 10 from the 15 of Green Bay. They are driving. Uh-oh. This is probably going to fumble roll. Yep. Two or through five. No. That is a no gainer, though. Okay. We'll take that, but that could have been bad. All right. Let's try it again. Second down. This is not a fumble roll, but it is an eight-yard gain. So Williams gets all the way to the seven. All right, third and two. I have options here. I really have options here. Hmm. I'm going to run it and hope they don't see this coming. If you're Green Bay, you're going to defend the run. Yep, and they guess right. Okay, third and two. Nine. It won't matter because, sure enough, Detroit gets the two yards they needed, so they convert on third and two. 
And we've now find ourselves with a first and gold. Williams just found himself with a 100-yard gain. Game, excuse me. And we're off the first and goal to go from the five. 11 on an off tackle. Only gets him four. He stopped right at the doorstep. Close, but not quite. Let's see if we can get him his third TD of the game. Second and goal to go right at the one. He is going to get it. Touchdown. Williams with a hat trick on the touchdowns. That's his third of the day. How about this extra point? It is good. Badgley has hit his six, so that means he's get two what? He gets two hat tricks? Something along those lines? I don't know. It, it close enough. Whatever. Anyways, the long story short is the Lions have now exploded. Hey, remember when this game was 21-0 Packers? Yeah, look at it now, and you tell me what happened. Green Bay has been outscored 42 to 7 since that point. The horrors from that week two blowout have now returned. And now it's Jamal Williams chipping in after an excellent drive. He now has a one, two, three TDs today. Hooray. Good for him. Green Bay actually now, unfortunately, really needs to score because that drive could not have gone any better for the, the Lions. There is 6.45 remaining, so if Green Bay doesn't score, this could be a problem. Let's see what happens here. In the meantime, Green Bay gets it nine yards in the back of the end zone. And then Mixon will try to take this out, and... Ooh, that was so close to being a 109-yard kickoff return TD. Instead, he's going to bring it out to the 24. I don't know what possessed him to bring it out from that range, but he almost broke one. Very close. But Green Bay, you have six and a half minutes to try to figure this one out. Third and five, excuse me. All right. They actually will just play to run on this one, and they'll miss this. Uh, good thing they did. Two for three or 12. And it's picked off somehow. Are you kidding me? Oh. Dang it. You've got to be kidding me. That could be the ball game. Oh, it gets inter... Rodgers was looking for Aaron Jones. Let's see. Four-yard interception, and then it go gets returned 20. Oh, dang it. So Rodgers was looking for Aaron Jones on that one. But guess what? The defensive right linebacker read that one perfectly and jumped the route and picks it off. That's Malcolm Rodriguez getting that one. A clutch interception for him. Detroit now has the ball at Green Bay's 40. With about 3.15 remaining, and they could pretty much ice this game here, but that was not supposed to happen. Rodgers throwing his second pick of the game, and this is now bad news for Green Bay. Detroit can basically ice this if they really want to here. I'm going to bring in Swift, just in case. All right, first and 10 here. I think it's quite obvious we're, what we're looking towards here in terms of play calling. Let's run that clock out. Detroit, Green Bay still has all three timeouts, but Green Detroit has excellent field position. And then Green Bay decides to get up an eight, give up an eight-yard run because why not? <laughs> ah, that's just brilliant. Brilliant. All right, second and two. Two-minute warning's close. It means anything. Seven. There's your two yards, and there's your first down. Okay. We're down to 215. All right. First and 10. Do it again. This will bring up the two minute warning. Two. And Swift just busted a short gain, because why not? 17. He is down to the 13. We have now entered the two-minute warning, and this is not good if you're Green Bay. Oh, boy. First and 10 from the 13. They're getting gashed left and right. Uh, five more for Swift, who for some reason goes out of bounds, so that stops the clock at 152, but 
Hey, so be it. Second and five. We're just going to keep running it down their throats. Um, what are you doing? Okay, there we go. Second and five. I don't know what happened there. Uh-oh. Eight yards. And guess what? Touchdown! For some reason, the... DeAndre Swift stretches for the pylon, but hey, you know what? Why not? He now joins in the act. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. Uh-oh. Nope, that's 12. That's what would be the problem. But the extra point is good. And I think we can safely turn out the lights on this one, folks. Hey, remember when it was 21 nothing? Yeah, Detroit has outscored them 49-7. to Just an absolute travesty here of a game. Yeah, it, it's not good. So I think that's going to do it, unfortunately. Green Bay tried to stop them, but couldn't. So, unfortunately, I'm going to turn the lights out on this game. That's pretty much a done deal. Now we just got to figure out what the final score is. So... Oh. So with that being said, let's skip ahead to what this final score ends up being. Show it! Son of a bitch! You done messed up, A.A. A. Ron! Now take your ass on down to Oshag Hennessy's office right now and tell him exactly what you did! Who? Oshag Hennessy! Principal O'Shaughnessy? Get out of my goddamn classroom before I break my foot off in your ass! Insubordinate! All right, you really didn't miss anything much. Green Bay tried to move it, but then the offensive line gave up. They allowed two sacks. At least this time it didn't end in a safety. But So no 50-burger for the Lions, but they'll take a 49. And there's your final score, 49-28. Detroit beats the Packers. Detroit remains unbeaten at 4-0. Packers fall to 2-2, two two, but this is a key divisional loss. And that was an embarrassing loss, to say the least. Remember, Green Bay spotted the Lions three TDs. The Lions outscored them 49-7 to afterwards. What was that? What the heck was that? Oh, my God. Uh, just a mess of a game for Green Bay. Rodgers went 25 for 41, 326. He had three TDs, but then he threw two interceptions one of which was at the end of the first half, which led to the second TD. And then he threw one basically at the end of the game there, and then, then the Lions cashed in on that too. And what an effort from Aaron Jones, but alas, it goes all for naught. 26-106, a TD. He ended up with 181 all-purpose yards and two TDs, but then he even contributed to the situation by fumbling a ball away. What else is new? Anyways, I mentioned Jones catch a pass. Lazard caught a TD pass. What a great game from him. Christian Watson caught a TD pass. Um, Preston Smith had an excellent game. Two sacks, one of which was a strip sack of Jared Goff. And then Jair Alexander had the pick. But then their defense just, like, fell apart. So, yeah, just uh, Packers got too far ahead of themselves. On the Lions' side... Jared Goff, this is a pretty okay game. 21-36, 251, two TDs, a pick. But you know what? Pretty good game. Look at these rushing stats, though. Five TDs between Jamal Williams and DeAndre Swift. That is really impressive, and I think that's how Green Bay lost the game once uh, the Lions figured out they can just chuck short passes and run. But you know what? They'll take that. Amon St. Brown had over 100 yards. Um, Brock White's only catch was a TD pass. Hey, he'll take that. DJ Chirk had an impressive game. And look at the defense. McNeil had two sacks and a forced fumble. Jeff Okuda forced it. Picked Rodgers off once. Rodriguez, their right, right, right linebacker, got the other interceptions. The special teams forced a fumble. There was another fumble done by uh, Kaminsky and uh, Brockers, who was in there filling in for Aiden Hutchinson, and even got a sack, too. So, defensively, Detroit tightened up and got what you wanted. So, there you go, folks. 49-28, Packer, Lions, yeah, Packers lose. Let's say call it like that. And 
Apparently, I got to stop playing the Packers on these things because that's now tw twice in a row they've gotten embarrassed. I think it the, the this time was even worse because they were up 21 nothing and they just blew it. Absolutely bleeping blew it. Nice. I, I could even throw in the uh, Happy Gilmore uh, blowing, but, you know, you, you get the idea. Okay, it's like that one clip of Adam Sandler yelling, You blew! Yeah, they blew it all right. So, miserable game for the Packers. They're still 2-2. Two two. Lions, congrats. You're now in the driver's seat of the NFC North. We'll see what happens with everything else. And that's going to do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. You know what buttons to hit. And maybe I ought to stay away from the Packers for a while, as I mentioned. Ugh, just not a good game. So, we're out of here. Thanks again. Peace out, y'all.